What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel Monday morning and we're getting this video up because I know you guys are going to be a little bit hyped about 100 overall Zico. Nedved is quite decent as well and Gardiola we'll get into as well which is a bit of a disappointment in my opinion but we'll get through that. Now these are part of the new epic national midfielders pack and these are boosters as well. So these three players have boosters here. They're also included with these players here. Sorry about the voice as well lads, it's a bit a bit raw, a bit sore this morning, but these are included as well, These pack, uh, this pack also includes national team stars, so if you want me to do a video on that, get in touch in the comments below and let me know if you want training guides and reviews for any of these players, if you do spin from, there's a couple there as well, including Jordan Henderson and this guy and Zielinski and Rabio. it's an okay mix, but we are going to be focusing on the three boosters today, so we're going to start off straight away with Zico lads, right? Now, bear in mind, okay, every single player and every single stat that you see here with the manager boost is going to get a plus two. That's even before you take the max booster effect into consideration for the, the chosen stats that Konami have given Zico, right? So off the rip, Zico has 34 levels to go, and at level one, these are his stats with unwavering form. He's got ball carrying plus two with his active max booster. And then we've got all the player skills that we could want. So a couple of things here, right? He doesn't have a low lofted, which I've become more and more reliant on as the game's passing has changed every couple of patches. One touch passing through passing is always going to be nice if you are using um, those nice intricate passes through to your center forwards to run on to, or else just kind of cheeky little balls through to one touch and run on. Zeke was one of the best at doing that, even though he's not a whole player, he's down as a classic number 10, right? He also has some good shooting finishing skills, which we'll get into in a sec as well. But yeah, his booster is going to be dribbling and tight possession, speed and balance. So it's a very nice mix. I don't think we've seen this booster before, and it brings his card up to 87 straight off the rip. With that unwavering form, it's a very, very solid card. Now, I had a previous version of Zico, and he was a machine, but this guy looks to be in a different level altogether, right? In terms of where the booster is going to bring him, and plus the max stats uh, the upgrade that he's going to be getting, right? So just for example, I'm going to show you here. This is the previous version of Zico that I had. He's still down as a classic number 10, and this is how we train him up. And you can see the boost there that we're going to be getting to all of these stats. So there's a couple of changes in here that we will get into. But just always remember that these players are going to get a boost with the managers once you get them into your actual squad and not from that menu that you're seeing here. So with that in mind, right, we're going to do a quick little build of him. He's 87 straight off the rip. His passing is really, really high. His tight possession is insane and balanced. You can see there, I've been saying it for weeks, that tight possession and balance are now the two key stats to building a player that's going to be attacking anywhere from center mid midfielders bringing the ball forward, right? So we're going to take a look at Zico. This is kind of the build that I think will be best used for somebody that's using him as a classic number 10. You're really going high with the dribbling and the ball control, the tight possession. This is this this on the DB at the moment is taken into consideration just his raw stats. You're going to have no manager boost built into this. They're yet to come when you put him into your squad. And of course, if you're using Ten Hag or Xabi or one of the new managers with a booster, you're going to get a plus to that as well. So for example, if I was using Ten Hag here with this Zico build, I'm going to have like 88, 89 speed. We can get that up to 90 quite easily. Acceleration is going to be in the 90s. Balance is going to be in the 90s. Kick and power is going to be in the 90s. Free kicks are going to be in the 90s. And then you're talking about low pass, tight possession, dribbling, ball control, all in the 90s. So you can kind of tweak that around a little bit. But I do think that this is an insane attack and midfielder build. If you're looking for just an all-round complete uh, attack and midfielder, yes, you can kind of, I would take back, if I was kind of looking to change this build, um, I can do a dedicated training guide to show you three different versions as equal, depending on your play style and formation, quick counter versus long ball versus long ball counter, possession, whatever. Um, I will show, show you three builds of that if you want. Um, let me know in the comments. But yeah, the one change I would make to this would be the shooting. You're still going to have 80 finishing there, right? With only one into shooting. But you can pop that into wherever you want to pop it. So you can even go one more into speed to get your 90 speed. And you could even go one more in to get your attack and awareness up if you wanted to go that route as well. So there's lots of different variable ways, various ways that you can train him up, right? We're also going to check out Guardiola, okay? So Guardiola has probably been a disappointing addition. I think he's down as an orchestrator, as you see here. Um, he's 29 years of age in this. He's got a wavering form. 
listen, he's got really nice player skills, one touch pass, true pass, and low lofted. He is down as an orchestrator. So straight away, you're going to be thinking to yourself, right, I'm not going to be maxing out his defense too much uh, because he's not that type of player. He's not going to be like that bully type player um, that even, you know, the likes of Zakaria, Fiera, any of those Makalele guys are going to be. His booster is actually down as passing, which is interesting, interesting enough. Well, not so interesting, I suppose, because he is the pass master, but he's the possession king as well. Low pass, lofted pass, curl and kick and power are all going to be upgraded there as well. Uh, I'd say he's a bit sore after Arsenal won yesterday, but listen, uh, this card is a bit of a disappointment in my opinion, right? Just for the way I would be playing and the way for the majority of people would be playing, you need to have a centre midfielder that's either a box-to-box -box or is either um, able to bring the ball forward. And Guardiola can do nothing of those. Like, he can't do either of those in my opinion. Now, when you train him up, right, we have different builds of him that you can go. So this is like a 90 plus um, low pass type player. You're going to have lofted pass over 95, uh, which I think the likes of Beckham and De Bruyne and those type of players will also have if you want to max out their lo lofted pass. His defending isn't too bad, but I would say that Kimmich is probably, Kimmich from Bayern Munich is probably a better card than this because you don't need low pass this high. His tight possession is at 87, which is fine. Um, but the rest of his stats are kind of, I think kind of wasted really. I mean, he has the passing really high. You don't need to go that high with it as i said 88 is going to be more than enough because you're going to get the booster and the manager boost um so i mean if you do have the defendant up a little bit higher if you don't want him to be defensive at all if you just want to keep that defensive awareness of 78 get the boost with that you can obviously train up his uh, acceleration a little bit more but he's always going to be caught for that little bit of pace or else that little bit of defensiveness um with the orchestrator play style and the fact that he has even though he's interception and fighting spirit he's not really that type of player he's more kind of like a passer and i think a very specialized player now stats don't tell all the story so i wouldn't be surprised if people i've used guardiola before um previous versions of him and he's been quite decent but for me i've always found that he's kind of back on the the squad sheet a little bit um you know so it depends on how you play i suppose but orchestrators are really a required taste, to be honest with you. Um, so that leaves us last but not least with Nedved. Now, lads, I'm so tempted to to spin for Nedved because I would like to pair him with the eventual return of the King Collar. I know we're going through the ringer at the moment, but we will be back stronger than ever. Um, and I would love to pair him up because he's just the perfect, perfect player to pair with Collar, right? Um, agility plus two, which is probably the most overpowered booster that they've added. Balance, speed, acceleration, and stamina, because it means that you don't really need to train up too much of those stats at all, really, for the position you're going to be playing. And he also has a lot of nice player skills. He doesn't have one touch uh, pass, which is a bit of a concern. But other than that, um, I would be giving this guy one touch pass and double touch, would be, which would be quite nice. And that booster there, lads, as we said, this is the build that we've kind of gone for, which is going to be a very high rated Pavel Nedved, right? You're going to have the dribbling, you're going to have the low pass, you're going to have the ball control type possession, but look at the speed and acceleration and balance. Now, if you're thinking, right, this is a bit too high, I don't need to have his speed and acceleration that high because I'm going to be playing him as an AMF, then you can just take that down a little fraction, take the speed and stamina down a little fraction because you're not going to be chasing that much ball. You can leave that at like maybe 80, you'll get the boost with 10 Hag or you get the boost with the manager boost it's not going to be that massive of a concern um even if you leave it at that and you could pop it up into dexterity you could pop it up into uh passing you could pop it up into dribbling you could take away the shooting if you don't want to be bringing the ball in that much with him but yeah i definitely would be training him up in a different way depending on who i had up front that's going to determine how i will train him up to be honest with you uh would i play him as a center midfielder i think as a box to box that's probably the best position for him because he's got really high stamina straight off the rip um and if i was training him as a cmf you don't need these these stats to be as high as they are once he can carry the ball forward with passing and dribbling over the 90 mark that's going to be a pass master and a dribble master right on top of that, you're going to have 88 acceleration with the balance really high, the stamina really high, and then the rest you can just pop into defense to get the aggression at 78, which will get the boost as well. So there's lots of ways to train this guy. He's a really, really good player, but that is it for me. So um, we'll just have a look at his stats there. I didn't have that changed over, but that's the center midfielder build that we have. And if you were, as I said, going to be changing him to like an out wide player or something like that, I would just probably reduce the defending and add it to, you know, maybe either lower body a little bit and then the passing or else the dribbling, depending on how you were going to be using him or else shooting if you were going to be cutting in. So there's a lots of ways. Listen, you can't really train these guys wrong, lads. That's the big thing about it. You can't train these guys wrong. Um, it's all about kind of like 
what you need from your team. If you need a left midfielder that has high energy, there's no point playing Nevid as a box to box. If you need a box to box, there's no point playing him out wide. If you need a real defensive presence, there's no point playing Guardiola. You need an anchor man or a destroyer. If you need somebody that can unlock defenses with key passes, then Guardiola is your man, or Zico could be your man as well. So let me know what you guys think, and let me know as well if I will do. I will do. I think these players, but let me know in the comments below. Um, sorry about the voice again, lads. <coughs> uh, we'll be back with a bit of a live stream later, hopefully as well. But until next, until then, I'll talk to you in a bit.